We have a new gastroechemistry problem. It says two grams of CH4 are burned in two grams of oxygen. We're gonna find the pressure exerted by water at 200 degrees Celsius in a 3000 milliliter flask. So clearly this is a limiting reactant problem because it's under the header of limiting reactants, but it's a good time to review what makes it a limiting reactant problem. And the answer is the fact that I gave you enough information to independently get moles of two reactants. That means I need to set up an ice chart. So first I'm gonna write the reaction. CH4 is burned, so plus O2, and it forms CO2 and H2O. Balancing this reaction, carbon is balanced, I'm gonna need a two here for hydrogen, and then I have one, two, three, four oxygens on the right-hand side, so I'm gonna put a two there. Now, setting up my ice chart, I'm gonna do my ice chart in moles. I have two grams of CH4. So two equals moles times the molecular weight. CH4 has a molecular weight of 16. Two divided by 16 gives me 0.125 moles of CH4. For the oxygen, two equals moles times 32. 2 divided by 32 gives me 0 0.0625 moles of oxygen. Both of these are starting at zero. That's my initial row. I'm going to fill in my change row. The left side is going to decrease. This has a coefficient of 1. This has a coefficient of 2. The right side is going to increase. Coefficient of 1. Coefficient of 2. The next thing I need to do is I need to decide which reactant's limiting. The way that I like to do that is I divide each one's moles by its coefficient. And the only thing I use this for is to decide which is limiting. So 0.125 divided by 1 equals 0 0.125. 0.0625 divided by 2 equals 0 0.03125. Whichever one's smaller, which is this number, is what's limiting. I therefore know that this becomes zero at the end. Now that I know which one's limiting, I can find x. 0 0.0625 minus 2x equals zero. x equals 0 0.03125. Now I can plug in x to get my final values of everything. 0.125, filling in this column, 0.125, minus 0 0.03125 gives me 0 0.09375 moles of CH4 left over. Zero plus point, sorry, zero plus point 0 0.03125 gives me 0 0.03125 and zero plus two times 0 0.03125 gives me 0 0.0625. Now that I know the moles of H2O that are produced, I can plug that into PV equals NRT to find the pressure exerted by that water. I'm solving for pressure. We're told it's a 3,000 milliliter flask, which is three liters. And the temperature was 200 degrees Celsius, which is 473 Kelvin. Sorry, this ended up jammed over on the side there. So 0.0625 times 0.0821 times 473 divided by three liters gives me a pressure equal to 0 0.81 ATM. And there's my answer.